we're really excited about tonight. This is history tonight. First football game ever in, in the town of Woodville, Alabama. So we are very excited about tonight. Of course, they're excited because, you know, they're getting the chance to be part of history, being, you know, on the first team that actually plays here in Woodville. They're excited about that. Woodville, Alabama, population 761. In the pigskin cray state of Alabama, this is the threshold for fielding a community football team. Long time, seems like forever. It's been about four, maybe five years, I think it's four years now. But we've been waiting on this football field and thanks to the Board of Education and the Quarterback Club and we've got a lot of people, Mr. Hardy, Superintendent. We've had a lot of people pitching in here uh, of late this summer to get a football field ready. So we're really excited about that. It looks really nice. It's, it's a nice football field. In 2006, Woodville High School organized its first football team. Consisting of children having never played the game in an organized fashion, the team is yet to record a winning season. Spirits are high that the addition of a new field will improve revenue and winning percentage. And I tell you what, tonight is the night that you can make history. You gotta go out there and play your best. You gotta give it 100% tonight. You're only gonna get this one time for the first game in, in Woodville history. So I expect all of y'all to play your best. We come up and we're in the lost cause, but you play your best tonight, we're all winners, right? So that's all I'm asking, is I'm asking you to play your best. I know all the coaches have worked really hard and that, that's what they're asking for you to do. Brandon Houston, number 20, receives his Letterman jacket. It signifies his role as one of the team's best players. He is a junior, which means he will get the opportunity to play his final two seasons with a true home field advantage. Excitement bubbles through the community as the pep rally begins to count down to the moment when fresh sod meets cleats for the first time in a game situation. Again, first game ever been played on Woodville. I'm coming out to the court. This seventh year coming up of football for Woodville. My third year here, but we've been going to Gurley and playing on the Gurley Elementary Field, the old Gurley High School field every week. So even though we had home games, we were traveling to get to them. So it's going to be a big deal, you know, being able to go across the street to the stadium rather than having to get on bus and travel to the home games. They had started the first year I came here. Like I say, this is my third year, so three years ago, they had just um, started the construction, moving ground, and then we finished, well, we, you know, getting it ready to play this last week. I believe that being this close to school and the community that, that we'll have more people show up and of course the more people you have more noise you're going to have and hopefully that will spur the team to play a little bit better than they have been. It's our biggest class of seniors since I've been here and none of them have ever played actually here on campus. We're struggling to get the program where we want it here, trying to get the kids you know, buy into and commit to off-season workouts and things like that. So I think you know it should be a pretty pretty even game. Both teams play well, you know. Um, if we play well, I think we'll have a chance to win. Woodville's opponent for their first home game is the Meek Tigers. The two hours travel time illustrates the difficulty the smallest schools have scheduling for their classification.
Brandon Houston. I'm a, in 11th grade. I'm a running back for the Louisville Panthers. It was really cool because it was the first game of the season. Um, we were all talking about it before the game started. We all wanted the first touchdown. It, it felt really cool to be able to get the first touchdown. Uh, returned it 60 yards. Um, the ball bounced real to me and I was able to take it outside and take it all the way. I think it would be cool in like 50 years from now to be able to come out here and be an old man and be able to tell everybody I was the first. So that's what I was shooting for. pretty awesome. Um, we have a lot more people coming out to support us since it's closer. Uh, we were playing in Gurley at the elementary school and it's kind of far for everybody. But we have a lot of people coming out to watch us so it's really helped out. It meant a lot because uh, we're a new team. We, I think this is the seventh year we've had it and we haven't had a lot of supporters because it's, I mean, it's been far away. And for everyone to come out and cheer us on is, is pretty awesome. Well, we all really enjoy football and uh, we all really have a passion for it. We're good individually, we're just trying to put it together as a team. 